Welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then uh, in this session, uh, we are going to see about uh, how the supplier approval goes, to whom it goes. It is always a big question about to whom it is goes, it is going. So we are going to test it now right, with the simulation actually. So let me go on and share my screen. So you'll now see supplier approvals. Right? If the supplier is not approved, you will not be able to create a contact at all. Contact cannot reside in an address. So the address will be going for an approval. So that we are going to see now. So let me go on and share my screen now. <clears throat> So here I go there. So the first thing is what I will now set up uh, the approvals. Right? I will now right click and then duplicate one so that I will have multiple things. So up to com, I will now keep and then I will now delete it. <clears throat> so we have got two tab regions here. Now. <clears throat> and then here I go there. So I will now go to home page and right? click on it. So in this place, what happens? I will now go to the approvals. I will not set up all the approvals. I'm going to set up on minutes. Let me open up one uh, Excel file also for this one <clears throat> to keep a record of what exactly I've set now. I will not say I will go there. So this I am going to set it up. And then I will not here, I will not mention to whom it is going now. So this place I will not write it and so select it and I will not go to the home and then I make the point as what aerial left all points. So make it as aerial and then I make it as 12 points. I'm going to some more I'm going to make it as 14 points. 14 points. So I think someone is going to be the best. I'm going to the place. So I will now go to the task list and then click on the search. It will be going to the generic area of the search now. Click on the search. I will now go to manage percentage. Sub percentage. APP percentage. Manage sub percentage. So uh, this won't be going fine. There are the doubts about this now. Fine. Manage internal supplier profile change approvals. Manage internal supply registration approvals. Negotiation won't come now. Right? There's the one. And then manage supply profile change approvals. And then manage supply registration approvals. So there are four uh, approvals which uh, have, we have a doubt on. So I will now go to the manage internal supplier profile change approvals. I will now go there. It is called manage. Uh, what is it called? Manage internal supplier profile change approvals. Internal supplier profile change approvals. So I will now send it to a cm 10 store. This is one I will know. So manage internal supplier profile changes. I'm going to send it to SEM10. So here already one is enabled now. Let me edit the role. Click on edit role. And then here I go there. So it is now made as automatic. So I click on edit. And then it will now change it to what? Go down now. Approval required. <clears throat> I will now say not approval group, but a single approver. No, that's not. And then here I will now say is number one is a worker. I will now make it the worker. So it is a student. Comma SCM10. It is the last name, comma first name. Let me write it now. So SCM10. So for this one, what happens uh, is not done. No, so click on it. I will now give a save. Now. It has to go to SCM10. I click on save and then you want to apply. So click on apply. No deploy. So this is now set. So three more, we have to set it like this. We'll now set a three more and then see where exactly it is going. So click on that and then come on. So manage internal supply profile changes now. So manage internal supply registration approvals will go there. We'll now bring it to SCM level. Manage internal supply registration approvals. Manage supply internal registration approvals. So manage internal supply registration approvals manage so it is manage internal supply registration approvals so manage internal supply is the internal supply profile approval. so is the internal supply profile change approval now it is manage internal supply registration approvals manage internal supply manage internal supply registration approvals this i will not take it to what is cm 11 dot student so, what I'm going to do. so is it, you know, this is enabled. Fine. One of them is enabled. I go there. So, click on edit rules. You know, go there, click on it. So, this is automatic. Fine. Click on edit. I will not, I will not say approval required. <clears throat> and then go there. I will now go to what? Single approval. And then drop it down. I will now make it as a worker. And then it is 11th one. Fine. Worker is what? Is a student. Fine. Comma is CM11. Fine. Last name, comma first name. Comma space first name. Last name, comma first name, you have to give it a final one. Okay, that's it. So this has been done. I click on save and then deploy. So click on deploy and it's not deploy. <clears throat> so it is already enabled here now. It's okay. No problem at all. 
So we can go ahead with the next one. Right? It's already enabled here. And okay. Now check on that and then come on. So manage internal supplier profile is also not. So negotiation won't come into because I will not go to the manage supplier profile change approvals. It's called manage fine. Supplier profile change approvals. So it's a manage supplier profile change approvals. It will not go to SEM 12 dot student. Manage supply profile changes. As is internal supply profile change, the internal supply registration approvals, and I manage supply profile change approvals. And the moment of one question. So along with that, click on it. Along with this placement, the last one is enabled. Fine. Click on it. Along with the edit mode, the edit mode. Fine. Click on edit. And then along go down. <laughs> go to what happens? Approval required. And then go down. And then I'm going to go to what? Single approval. <clears throat> so drop it down. Worker. And then it's all now. It is a student, comma, SEM, comma, space, SEM. That may bring it, click on it. So it will be going to him approval. So click on save and then deploy. Save and deploy. This is also done. So now three have been done. I have, we have a doubt on the fourth one. So that also I could do. So we already, it is already enabled. Now. It's all enabled. So, we'll go there. so finally, what manage the supply registration approvals. It's called manager supplier registration approvals. It will now go to SCM 13 dot student. So these are only four ones which for which we have a doubt now. So we don't have any doubt on any other thing. The remaining are all okay, right? The manager supplier registration approvals. <clears throat> so manage supplier registration approvals. So we will now go to this place and then we will now change it to what? SCM 13 now. So this one is enabled fine. That's not the serial one. So, then, so click on edit rules. And then go ahead, click on it. So here is automatic. I will not change it to what? SEM 13. Drop it down. I will not say approval required. So drop down. And then go to the what? Single approver. And then go to this place. Worker. And then here it is a student. Comma SEM 13. Comma space SEM 13. Yes. So click on again. So click on save and then deploy. Save and then click on deploy. So it's a SEM 30. You are going to deploy. Now all the approvals are not deployed. <coughs> so having done this, what you do is you better log out and log in. Of course, some major changes, it is preferable to log out and log in. So that part of it, it will not close this also in this place. Go there. So let me know log out and log in. But the changes to take up, click on sign out. Some major changes needs a log out and log in. So we are now logging out and logging in. So I am now working on the PRC 11 dot student and the procurement one. So let us now go and get our supplier actions. Now go there. I go to the procurement and then I go to the suppliers. Fine. Let us now create a new supplier for us. Go to this place. And then we have set up different, different approvals 10, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fine. Click on it. Now go there. So click on create supplier. So we are now creating a supplier actually. Go there. So is it what I will now say? Uh, uh, I will now say B01 underscore sub underscore one. I'm getting it. And then I will now make it as a spend operation. I will now make it as what? Tax corporation. And the remaining fields are not mandatory actually. I'm going to click on create. We are going to create it. So we are now creating a supplier B01 underscore sub underscore one now. Go inside. On the main tab agent, we are not putting anything except the payments. We go to the payments and then make one of the payments as a default payment. So I'll now make one of them as a default payment. Go there, click on it. I will now click on this icon, find the default and click on it. It will now make it as a default. In fact, what happens is the payables will be concentrating on this and then it will be doing a lot of activities on this one. Click on it again. <clears throat> so it will now become a default. So it's actually the responsibility of the payables to create a supply because they are going to make a payment as well. I click on save now. It's just changing a saving. Let us now go to the address area and then we'll look at the address. What is the address? B01 sub one. So address is what I will now say uh, B01 address name. That is what the field name is. Country is United States. Fine. When you are working on the vision, what happens? You always use United States because that will not have any uh, localization patch problems. Postal code is what? 10020. And choose one of the biggest one that you want. The remaining fields gets populated and will not enable it for ordering and remit. This is for the purchasing and this is for the payables. So I will now say me, right? B01 at the rate that was a gmail .com. Something I'm putting in. So we are now created address one, B01 address name, and then here address line also. I'm going to put, right? B01, fine. Address line one. 
So line two, okay, this money is sufficient fact to concept, the address is not going. So it will not complete it. Now. So even close this one, right? You can see close, will not come to the main area. Address is now created. It will not come to the main area for this. <clears throat> okay. So we'll now go to the side, go to the contacts. Now, if I click on the contacts, and then here I will now give a plus. I'm going to get a contact. <clears throat> so one when the address is created, it will be sent to sent for approval, actually. It is sent for approval. So in the contact, what happens if you give a plus? And then here I go to the actions and then go to select NAT. So here in the bottom, nothing is coming here. <clears throat> So no address is coming because it's not yet approved actually. So I will now save and close and then come out of it fine. It will be coming as a what? Oh God, it is not written. Fine. Let me create the contact actually. So contact is not created. I will go there. I will now make the contact. Ananta 1. And then I will now say Mona 1. So email is what? B02 at the rate gmail.com. And then if you give a save moment, the contact is now created. but it is not having any address at all. So we had to have address. But since the address has been sent for approval, so it is not appearing here at all. So we have now filled up all the, uh, what happens, the important information, the mandatory fields have been filled. Then we are now given the email. Which is so go back to It's now going to save. <clears throat> so now the system will not tell that it has been sent for approval actually. <clears throat> so in the meantime, what happens, I will now go there, right click and then duplicate. No right click, duplicate. And then we are going to reset the password. I will now give a save and close on it. No save and close. And then I will now click on submit. No, I click on submit. No, I am going to submit it. So go there, click on submit. So once when you submit it, what will happen is that it will now go for approval actually. No, internal profile change request was submitted. Right? So it is not coming as an internal profile to change request. So if you go there, it is the internal profile change approval. Right? It is the internal supplier profile change approval or internal supplier registration approval. So only one of them will fire actually. So internal, something is not shown on the internal, either internal supplier profile change approvals or internal supply registration approvals, one of them will fight. So I have already reset the password for 10. I will now reset the password for 11 also. So we will now see whether 10 is really working or not. Internal supplier profile changes, whether it is working or not. You are going to see it now. So uh, there is no narrowed down to this. So click on OK. Now, if you go there and then see on the manage approvals, we will now go to the what? Manage suppliers. And then let me query my B0 supplier. So I B01. So click on search now, and I'm going to search for it. So once when you search for it, you will now find that it has been, you can now see an IE icon coming. If you click on the IE icon, your profile change request is pending for the supplier. Your profile change request is not pending. It is basically a profile change. So what I feel is that it will be at this one now. Fine. The profile change means what? It has gone to the first one only. Internal supplier profile change. Fine. This must have gone only. So let me log in with the SCM 10 and then see whether it is not, uh, you know, pending with him or not. So as long as this IE account is there, if you open it up and then bring it to the edit mode. So click on it. I'm now going to the bring it to the edit mode. And then try to add a contact. It will not be doing that. But, uh, currently a profile change. Again, a warning is coming. And it's pending approval. And click on as long as okay. <sighs> so click on it. I will now go to the contact. Now. And click on the contact. And then the contact I'm going to edit now. Select it and then edit now. So I will select it and then click on edit. And then I'm still unable to add address. If an address is not added, what happens is not possible. The contact has to remain in this one. Go to the actions and go to search and So the address has to come in the bottom and it's not coming at all. So let us now log in with SCM10 now. Find the what else. So SCM10 dot student, I'm going to log in. So what I do is I'll go to the another browser and go to the home now. I will now go to the space. Take copy. Let me open up my <laughs> what's called my Mozilla browser. The Mozilla browser, let me go there and paste it over so the language is Japanese. I will not change it to English. And then I will now choose what SCM 10 dot store. Go there. So I am putting the password. I already reset the passwords of this one. So click on sign in. I will now remember the password also. Go there. And then you will now see on the bell icon any notifications coming in or not. So click on the bell icon on the right hand side top and go back to monitor. Now have a look at it. So go there. So here B01 sub one, something, something is coming in Japanese. Right? Because it is a Japanese one. Over there, it's not right. So click on it. So this is the basic one. Right? Click on it. You're not going to take an action. Go and take an action. And click on it. You know, click on it. One minute ago is now you click on this hyperlink now. So here what happens, you can now see there is a problem on the this thing now. And click on the options because it is not opening up. 
So allow pop up. I have to say you now. This one, this is the Firefox is now preventing the pop ups actually. So allow pop ups for this. Nothing. Click on it. I'm allowing it now. So it's not opening up. So this guy is going to approve. So the address which has been created is going to be approved by him now. So what is this place? Go there. So go to actions and then here. What am I going to make an action? I'll drop it down. So here you can now see it is not waiting with the SCM 10 dot student. Right? He has stopped the wait. Afterwards, application de application developer is a, is a automatic one. So this is also coming. I don't know from where it is coming. Fine, application developer is coming from somewhere else. It is coming. So application developer is coming means it is an automatic approval. So something else is automatic actually. Fine, we have to set it up also. We have to set it up also. Something else is automatic. <clears throat> Fine, go there. So let us now make that also and then see. So what is this action? No. Action is not coming. Sometimes you will not be able to do it properly. So I'll go there. So I'll now close it and then I actions find the not coming and close it. So I'll now again click on it. Go there. So click on it. Now see whether it is actionable or not. We have to see now. Fine. Since he is not having a supplier manager power or supplier administrator power, the actions are not coming. And the actions are not coming. We will now see on this place. Now fine. click on it. Now go to this place. I will now go to the tools approval and then see whether it is not coming. The tools approval. What are the tools? And then here I will not go to the approvals. In the tools approvals, I go there and then see nothing click on the approvals. So tools approval, I will not go on and have a look at whether he cannot take an action or not. Otherwise, this guy has to be given what? Yeah, this thing now. <clears throat> so there are two people seems to be involved in the approvals actually. So I will not go there and then have a look at now. Oh, you're opening it up and you're so this guy is not having any powers basically. First of all, ACM10 is not having any powers. So what I do is I will now go here and then give him powers basically. And come on, no more powers. So I will not what I will go there. Click on it. Smile and what about this place? So let me go to this place and then it will now give one one uh, big role for the payables actually. Fine purchasing. And go there. So I will now go to this place. I will now go to the tools. You see, ten I'm going to give it. So if you go and then look at my document, and click on it. Now have a look at the document. I will now go to the G column. So if you go to the Oracle Software Chain Management, I will now go to the fourth one and click on it. And then here, uh, I will now say roles. Now, fine. Roles. So here, vision roles are there. 58th document is the one. And double click on it. 58th document is the vision roles, actually. Vision roles, fine. So the procurement PRC all will now give you all powers to him now. So I will now take up with Let us now give this role to him. Go to the place. You go to the security console. <coughs> So go to this place and then go to the users. So I'll now go to this place. My goals is there. And the users are here. Not in the users. So go to this place. Here, SCM 10. So let us now give him, give him the power actually. Click on it. We'll now give him PRC also. That what we'll be having all the powers of the PRC actually. And click on it. Click on it. Click on it. Then I'll now paste the PRC all. And this gives all the powers to him. PRC all. Click on it. Select it and then click on add role. So it's not given. So similarly, what I'm going to do is I will now what happens? I click on demo. For the eleventh also, I'm going to do it. Eleventh also, eleventh and twelfth also, I'm going to do it. So PRC has come on here now. Fine. So click on it. I will now give us seven clues. You know that. So tenth has already been reset, and then I will now go for the eleventh and then twelfth also. Eleventh and twelfth also. So it is now giving two areas of him now. Fine. So we are, so click on done now. So click on that. So we have a PRC all in this place now. Fine. So is what's called uh, SCM 10. If you go down and then see, you'll be having a PRC. PRC all is there. Click on that. And similarly, SCM 11 also I'm going to do. Okay. So now go to the 11. SCM 11, I go there. So here also I will now add the PRC all. Let me add this. So click on edit and then let me add the PRC all. Click on add row. <clears throat> so go to this place. And paste it now. If you paste it, it'll be coming fine. Choose this now and then select it and then click on add row. 11 is also added. So click on demo, and then you can now see in the bottom, it will be coming. The PRC all will be coming. So PRC all is coming. Click on save and close, and then you will now reset the password for 11. <coughs> because 11 does not do it. And 12 also will not do it. 11 and 12. So go there, click on it. So click on demo. <coughs> So I'll now go for 12th. You know, 11th is not done. Fine. 11th itself, what happens? We have to reset the password. Let me reset the password now. So click on the reset password. So I'm now resetting the password for it so that what happens? I can even log in with this now. <clears throat> so the password is now getting reset actually. There's no done. Click on the password. 
Similarly, for 12 also, you know, add the PRC 11 and then I reset the password. So the password is effectively not 11. 11th is no reason. And then here, I'll now go to what? SCM 12. So go to the SCM 12. So 12 also will now reset the password. So 11 and 12, we are now adding it because it's now coming one as an automatic action. We don't know which one is really responsible for it. Welcome on the team. Tip on reset. Not exactly matching. So no reset the password. And then I will now add PRC and click on edit. So 11 and 12 are also eligible for this. I click on add all. So go there. It's, a, it's called PRC all. And then I'm adding. 11 and 12 are also added to the queue now. So click on that. Go to space. So you go down and then see this. So PRC all of that. Click on save this. So whenever you make any changes on the security console, have a habit of running the LDAP. So run the LDAP. <clears throat> so that will be giving a lot of so we'll now run the LDAP now. 11 and 12 are added. The rules actually. So that what happens, it will be visible for you on this. All the tools and then go to the schedule to process. Let us now run the what's called import user role. And click on the schedule new process. Click on the import user role. <coughs> import percentage. User percentage and then give it import user role and then. So once it is done, what happens will be done. So we had to run it now. And so that what it now takes some time actually. In the meantime, what happens? I'll not go here now. And let me load of it now. Let me load of it and then log in now. And PRC has been added away now. So now go to this place. Let me load of it and then log in. So click on it. Let me log out and log in. So that the new role will be visible for him actually. But actually, we have to run this also. Import user role. And this is not taking a long time. Let us now see whether it gets affected. I click on confirm now. <clears throat> and then I'm logging in with the ACM 10 now. We will not see whether we can approve it or not. <clears throat> so go to this place and click on it. And then here I go there. So B01 supplier is already coming. Fine. Click on it. You're now having an action button here. See, there is an action button. It is in Japanese basically. And what is the approve or reject? I'm not exactly sure what I did. Previously, what happens? It was not coming at all. And now we have given a role of PRC all. So he's having an action button. Fine. Click on it. And then we will not drop down the action on the beginning. So it's coming in Japanese actually. But even though I have now chosen English, I don't know why it's not coming now. <laughs> so we'll not write up to Go to the actions and then here, what happens? I'm going to approve it. Click on it. First one may be approved now. What is my feeling? It's still not coming. The action is not coming at all in this case. If you go there, click on it. So it goes to one more guy where it is set automatic. That also we have to find out to whom it is going. And that is another exercise. We're not going to two people basically find that. The drop down action is not coming somewhere. We'll now go on and see in this place. Now, thank you. Thank you. This place. <clears throat> and then you'll we'll now go to the what tools and then go to the approvals and tools and then approvals. So, here we'll now see whether it is visible for him or not. This place, this screen has to be visible. So, in the meantime, what about we'll now go there, click on it, we'll now see whether it is not coming. Not coming. So, import user role and the application security. This is the one that will not run it. So once when this runs, it will be syncing all the setups on the uh, security console into the transaction systems. All the setups made in the security console will be synced into the transaction systems now. Import user and all application security data. <laughs> so once when it is completed, you will again re-log in and then see there whether you are able to do it or not. Because PRC all is the one which is for all the procurement activities. There is a combined role by vision actually. On the vision instance, this is a combined role. So it is not given now. So that is why what happens, we are unable to see anything at all in this place. Mm -hmm. Go to this place not anymore. <coughs> Go there. Then we'll log out and log in. And this place, I don't know, log out and log in. Click on it. Now log out and log in. Sign out. <coughs> And then when signing in, we have to say that it is English only. It is not get us English, but inside, why it's all coming in Japanese, I don't know. No. So now we'll now wait for this concurrent to complete. Import user role. Fine. Now running, running, running. So this is the one who is now running still now. 
so refresh it and then see you know running you go there click on it let's go let them all log in and click on sorry so it goes to two people basically it's not going to two people <clears throat> so here we well, go there if you click on that one now now first will be approved next may be an object uh, what happens now you see it is now gone now fine from scps 11 is not student this is the one now right it is already there so this may be an approval i think click on it again click on it in action whether you are able to get any action or not. otherwise from here itself you will not approve it first may be an approval next may be reject that is what i feel now because we are unable to change the language here now and this part how come others are coming with the english and then this is coming in japanese now <laughs> <laughs> really unable to understand this. So go there. The actions will be dropped down. You have to get the action actually. So you see, I'm telling them to upgrade or whatever. So we'll now go there and then in this place again, we'll now make a check now. Right? We'll now go to the tools approval and see whether it's not coming or not. We'll go to the tools. In the approval area, we're able to see any approvals. We're now syncing that PRC all over here now. <clears throat> the CM10. Ah, still not coming. Okay, let us now approve it and then go back. Go back. Go to this place. So let us now approve it. Okay. So first one may be approved, next may be rejected. What if you know what I mean? B01 sub one time. I'll now click on this and take an action. So click on it. And then this will now vanish. Right? Application error occurred. See the incident log. Oh God, there's no error. It's not working at all. So it didn't even work at all. Click on it. So once it is approved, what it has to do is it has to what happens? Uh, uh, it has to what happens? Uh, get recorded. There. <clears throat> so here, what we can see in depth. Your import user role is now still running now. Okay, now wait for it to complete. Good user role. So whatever setups you have made on the security console will be synced into the transaction systems by this import user role. And then one more concurrent also you can run it. Fine. This also called the LDAP. The LDAP also you can run. LDAP. Number one. LDAP. So if you want to tab it. And then you're going to have a look at it. And this is also is a useful one, but Oracle says that LDAP need not be run because the system has got an inbuilt mechanism to what happens, a sync it actually. That's what it says. So at least it has gone to SCM 10 now, fine. So at least that means what? This has got triggered actually. This has got internal supplier profile change approvals. It is now going. That, that is for definite action. And then apart from that, it is, going, it is not going to any of these things because they are all set to another people. So we have to set up something else and then see who else it is going over there. Internal supply profile change approvals is the one. So manage internal supply profile change approvals. There is no going. And then apart from that, it is going to one more person. So that also you have to see. <clears throat> because you are now getting application developer the last. And which one is triggering that application developer? We have to see. Now go that click on it. Now load and login and then come back again. So click on it. No sign out on sign in. <clears throat> so click on come. So click on sign in. So here you go there. I will now click on this icon. Then have a look at it. Find so I will now simply click on approve. Now see whether it gets approved. Or not. An application error occurred again. <laughs> it is not getting approved at all. Click on it. And then go to the tools and then go to the approvals. Tools. And then I will see what happens after this. So here the screen itself is not coming. Sometimes what happens, it will take a longer time for the system to what happens to sync with all the changes whatever you made now. Right? So I will not do one thing. I will not pass it for some 10, 15 minutes and then I will again come up. I am not passing the system for 10 minutes now. Right? I will not pass the record. I will not again come back. So uh, the LDAP as well as your uh, Import user roles are run now. So it will now go on and get a new supplier actually. Click on it. it will now go on and get a new supplier. And click on the create supplier. <clears throat> so 
So the supplier name is what? I know uh, done an experiment on two and three. Now I'm going to make an experiment on four. No? B01 underscore sub underscore four. That is the supplier I'm going to create. I will now make it as what? Spend authorized. So the tax organizations corporation. This is going to be United States. United States the one. So let me choose it. Okay. Now done. And then click on create. I'm now going to create a supplier. Sub four, I'm creating it actually. So on the main profile region, <clears throat> I'm going to, what happens, only make one of the payment methods an automatic payment, go to the payment, and then here I'm now making one of them as an automatic payment. So as a default payment, I'm now making one of the payment methods. So having done this on the profile area, so actually this profile is going for an approval actually. So I click on save. So only after an address is made, we can submit for approval. Click on address. So we have to make an address first. Go to the address, and then click on plus two. Yeah, create an address with that. So address is what B01 <laughs> address name four. I'm giving it country is what United States. And then I'm long go to the postal code. <clears throat> so I'm putting United States over here. And then let me go and then put the postal code as what 10020 and then give a tab. And now this is the biggest one. I click on okay. the remaining fields are getting populated. I will now go to this place, right? It's a B01 address line 4. I am enabling it for ordering and remittance. Right? So, both suppliers are now done. So, click on save and close. So, the address is now created. Now, I go to submit it. So, once when I submit it, it will be going for approval. Actually. I am now submitting it. Right? So, if you submit it, it will now go for approval. So, I have now configured this now. You already seen that. What happens here? The first one, the internal supplier profile change is now going to SCM 10 actually, right? Along with that, it is now going to PRC 11 also. Right? That is where I am unable to understand. So what I did is, you know, given uh, different different values for this thing, you know, find internal supplier registration approvals, and then supplier profile change approvals, regi uh, supplier registration approvals, spend authorization approvals, negotiation approvals, negotiation award approvals also, I have set up these values actually. I have set up everything. But again, it is now, one of the automatic is now bringing it to PRC 11. Right. Which one is responsible for it? I'm unable to understand. If you go there, click on it. If you go to the first icon. So here you are now getting sub four has come to him. Right. If you click on it, if you go to the sub four, here it says first it is now going to his own person of PRC 11 itself. It is now going there. It is now going to PRC 11 actually. If you go there, click on it. You now see that it goes to PRC 11. Uh, that means what? It is an automatic approval actually. I'm doing automatic approval. So I go there and then upwards SCM 10. But where this has been configured as automatic and then that is now having a higher priority than SCM 10. That I am unable to understand. I tested everything on time this place. I tested everything. So here what happens? You go there, click on the now. So in this place, if you click on the edit rule, I have given only one now. <clears throat> the parallel approval first responder means I have given only one actually. I go there. It is basically SCM 10 only. And no other action I have added. But in this place, it is now clearly saying that there are two are there now. This place, if you go on and see on the sub four, it shows that there are two are there actually. <clears throat> so somebody make an R&D and then find out. And go that point. So it's now saying parallel approval first responder means, and then this is going to PRC 11. And then again, parallel approval first responder one is now going to what? Uh, it's not showing you the same thing only. It's assigned, assigned, it's not showing you. And the bottom, what happens, it's not showing you this. So here you see, you can see HCM 10 is not showing up. So here it is not showing you 10. And then here, how come this is coming here? This portion I'm unable. Maybe some rule is triggering this auto approval for the same. Right? For the same, it is not triggering. That's why it's not going. But uh, uh, without he approving it, if I approve from HCM 10, it is getting approved. Right? That is the beauty of it now. <laughs> so still not able to understand now. Right? I almost set everything in this place. Whatever I have not set almost everything. If you go there, click on the right. right, right, right. So everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven approvals have been set to different, different people. But somewhere, something is automatic, actually. If you go on and see this place, you go, you go to this place. Go there. So given that, you know, you go there in this place, you know, you know, cancel, no fine. So there are seven are there. So click on done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All this are in the middle. And this is a different one, actually. So all the sevens have been set with some value. But somewhere from where, what happens? One automatic is firing, and then that is coming as the first one. So because of which, what happens? It's not giving this one. So you don't go there. Go to the 
what's called you go to the manager suppliers now you go to the manager suppliers <clears throat> i will not put b01 now the fourth one i know that not the fourth one is not pending it the fourth one is still pending so i will not go there i will not take an action on this nothing i will not take an action so so here the actions are now coming because of what i run the ldap and then you this thing now and and then employee role is also added actually you know that so i am not going to either approve or reject in the actions we have got plenty of actions now again when what are the withdraw or suspend or escalate to somebody else fine all these things are there so everything we have seen during procurement training so i am not doing so i will not simply click on open so click on open so the notification will now vanish only problem is what why it's coming to prc 11 the first now scm 10 is not approving it scm 10 is now approving it so the notification itself will now vanish it now vanish and go that i am now on the scm 10 actually no point no done so uh, uh, in this place i am in scm 10 now if you go there and then have a look at the notification there will not be any notification pop so we it will not vanish actually it just to vanish if i click on it it will vanish actually <clears throat> the action has been taken actually so it has to vanish actually <clears throat> so you know that so go there so here you see the approve reject nothing is coming only the actions are coming that is also not coming at all approve and reject everything is gone now so you can now see the tick mark coming up now i see i'm done and then now the prc 11 is vanished actually <laughs> really very funny actually how do the prc 11 and the guy who has now created it and other so it has vanished actually so that means what is the only thing which is now applicable i think it's fine manage internal supplier profile change approval the only one which is applicable so you have to set it up appropriately so once it is set what happens is now getting approved you go that you want to now go to make a search now fine on the supply for the i icon will go with search the i icon is gone so manage internal supply profile change approvals the one only one the manage internal supply profile change approvals is the one which is responsible for your supplier approvals good then fine but again the same the prc 11 is also coming as the first one but i think that is a dummy one and you can anyway ignore it if you set it up properly it will now go to the appropriate manage as appropriate so that's it for me and then uh, what happens uh, you set it up and then so that you will not be having any problem right? bye for now